this video, I'm going to show you how to put logos back onto a car. So whether you're painting a car or detailing a car and you need to put these logos back on, I'll show you the techniques. There's basically two methods of doing it. There's adhesive and then there's tape. If you look on the back of this emblem, you'll see this is the tape and it does work but I like the adhesive a lot more. 3M makes this stuff. It's called Black Super Weather Strip and Gasket Adhesive. It's best if you clean all the junk off the emblem and the car, but as long as it's nice and flat, you can go ahead and leave some of it on there. Just make sure when you lay the glue down that you lay it down in the middle of the emblem. That way if it moves, you don't see this black adhesive near the paint. This adhesive has a very interesting webbing that occurs when you apply it. So this can be the challenge to keep it in the middle. I've used both methods, the tape and the adhesive. The adhesive will lay flatter on the vehicle and is a lot more durable. To remove these emblems, sometimes I'll take a plastic spatula so I don't scratch the paint and a hair dryer or a hot air gun set to low. The last thing you want to do is burn the paint. So take it nice and easy. To make sure this emblem stays nice and tight to the car, I'm gonna take some of this 3M painter's tape. Once I have the emblem in place, I'm gonna use this to make sure it does not move. Some of these emblems have little pegs so they will help you align where the emblem goes. This emblem has one of the pegs broken off, so it's even more important that the tape keeps the emblem straight while it dries. Now the reason I use this painter's tape is once it's dry, it'll peel right off, and you do not want to peel off your new fresh paint. So next time, you need to put an emblem back on your car. You'll remember the concepts in these videos and it'll help you out. I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it and I'll see you next time.